they see me rolling. Hey, t- why have I got to <laughs> a testicle of ice balls, baby? <laughs> well, that you, is so ominous. That looks like a pair of testicles in the bowl. Thought you needed them. We might as well drop them in, actually. Yeah, just for context. Got two ice balls in a white bowl, just where I sit. Mm. Like looks like a pair of icy, icy nuts. It's like Frosty's nuts. Yep. Frosty the snowman. <laughs> Who will soon be bloody here, mate. I know. Fuck, yeah. Jesus, look how dark it is outside now. And it is not even 8 I o'clock. I think it was 100 days till Christmas, like yesterday or the day before, something like that. That's not long. I know. 100 what days to Christmas. Hell? Crikey. Cheers, man. I love Christmas. Yeah, I do, to be fair. I'm, uh, I think Christmas last year was like the best part of last year, I think, because it yeah. actually was kind of a little bit normal. And I think <laughs> even though stuff was like quite low-key, ev- everyone like, really appreciated like. Anyone you the, could, could the get around, they could do, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, got, I think I smuggled my mum and sisters over. And then they stayed for the entire thing. Yeah, it was cool. Fuck it, COVID, you're not here this year, and I'm going to put up all the decorations. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is, my, this is the first on. year I've actually got a house that I own, so I'm going to do some decorations as well. Yeah. So we never bothered any of the houses that we rented. We never, like, put any decorations up. Other it, than, it, it, we did inside, like a tree oh, and stuff like that. But, outside yeah, I'm room. actually going to put up some lights and shit like that. I didn't take. I haven't taken the lights down since I put them up last year. From the, you know, the ones around the pillars at the front. Yeah. Because I'd be bollocks if I'm circling those around it again. Because they're what? perfect. It's efficiency, mate. I know. Just... I know. And it was a ball ache to get them matching. And I was like, <laughs> they are never coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors, get used to these. They're here. They're not on, but they're just there. <laughs> they're just there on yeah. permanently. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> this, like you've got like some reindeer and just some just Santa, like that, that really Santa sad. falling off the roof and just like, like wait, just <laughs> keeping him on yeah. there. When you're watching an American movie and it's a Christmas movie, but they're in Texas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be... It's just sunshine. Yeah. Well, we are going. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I went to press record then. We're already recording. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long week. Oh, uh, it has been a long oh, week. We had a fun one, though. Yeah, we've done some different things. This is episode 30. Five. Yes, 35. You sure? Yep. I don't know. I lost Confident. Count. Yeah. In my error. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's 35. Just dub over, over it if it's not. Yeah, this is episode 35 or 36. Mm. Whichever one's correct. Uh, we have had busy weeks where we have both just got back from London mm-hmm. where we shared a bed. We did share a bed. It's finally <laughs> happened, everybody. It has. We've crossed the boundary. Yep. Everyone's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Me and Lex in a bed. <laughs> it was a big bed. Oh, it was massive. It was, so, we, so we went down um, to London Shoreditch, yeah. which actually, I hate London. Mm. I don't hate Shoreditch. No, no. I don't I, hate Shoreditch. I don't hate Camden. And I don't hate Brick Lane, that kind yeah. of area. Yeah, I really I, enjoyed I was it. very pleasantly surprised by Shoreditch. I think, um, yeah, like, I wouldn't go as far as saying I hate London. I've worked in London a lot. And when you work in there and you're rushing around, it's just chaos. And, That's what I mean. Like, yeah. And I've been to London a handful of times as a tourist and I've enjoyed it. And then after a couple of days, I'm like, I'm done with London. I'm going home. Yeah, that was me. Um, but yeah, like Shoreditch was, it was still busy, but it, did, it didn't seem that the normal like hustle and bustle just wasn't there. There yeah. didn't seem to be yeah, no, seemed, good it vibes. Though. Good vibes. I think yeah. uh, everyone but, was super trendy. Yeah, some over, over overly trendy. trendy. Some yeah, male corsets. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he was cool though. Yeah, he was cool. He, he was a he was a dude. Uh, we where did we go? Yeah, so we were in Shoreditch, and it was oh you didn't get the joy of the breakfast the next no. day. So so that I, I got to wander through Shoreditch, yeah. and it's a really oh, just really cool looking place as well. But then we went to this bre- brekkie club. It's called. It looks sick. It was just cool, man. It was just yeah. cool. I, I like the fact that you can just go and wander in these nice little places that aren't. It wasn't overwhelming. It was really like it was a like a vintage vibe to the whole thing yeah. i actually liked it i like that area i like all that kind of styling i like mm. i like upcycled looking things yeah we, we we went to this place called box park yeah that was the first so we went why did we go down to london? we went down to london because we went to a seek almost a, basically like a secret gig yeah for rudimental who had a lot of sporting artists and uh we got invited there just because we're awesome yeah. And they just looked through a map of people in the world because that's how you find people there's a map and it has all the people on it yeah. and they're like who's awesome well it's the new phone book and you've got like a star rating at the end and there's very few five stars <laughs> yeah and well, we were we were obviously five stars so <laughs> it wasn't because we knew anybody involved in the event and uh <laughs> and yeah we got down but we did get spoiled we got vip we got mm. open bar yeah and they had four roses whiskey on there yeah single barrel jack daniels mm. and what was the other one they had there's one more um woodford woodford, woodford reserve. reserve yep 
Very odd. Yeah. Very odd. Really the, random. The rooms were only Bacardi's. They, rooms, they yeah. had such like they had a good for a, just a random little place. Like the, yeah. the whiskeys were good, and then the the rooms were not that the rooms were bad, but Bacardi's pretty like bog standard, standard isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Um, what was the tequila as well? There was I don't that, know, but that, we like, had it twice. Was it Patron? Because somebody shouted the awful sound of the "you're probably going to feel sick at the end of the night" call, which is "let's do a tequila." Yeah. I felt sound the next morning, which was amazing. How did you feel? Well, when you woke up to go, yeah, after tenderly kissing me on the forehead and saying, yeah. farewell, my love. <laughs> love you, darling. <laughs> um, I kind of heard you going. Yeah. You slept a large portion of the night with the pillow on your head That's like how that. I sleep. Uh, I <laughs> see were, a pillow on You're like smothering yourself. <laughs> just like part of your head sticking out. There. Yeah, that's how I sleep. Do you know where that was from? <laughs> where? Uni. Oh, really? Because the fire alarms would constantly go off. Uh, so I trained myself to sleep with a pillow on my head so I didn't have to go... A pillow under, pillow over. <laughs> yeah. I'm like a, I'm a human sandwich. <laughs> That's how I, I generally feel quite comfortable sleeping like that now. When I when I woke up, I put the curtain because you know we had like that. That's half what blind. I remember. You put you I put it down because I was like, oh maybe it's too light for you. Yeah, no. So I put them I down. That was you putting it down to get more sleep. No, I thought it was bothering you. So ah, night pillow man. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. I'm just being nice. We, we stayed at uh, yeah, so we went down for the gig. It was awesome. We had lots of whiskeys. Um, you chatted up a guy in a bar and got free gin and whiskey. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That happened. And then we, yeah, and then we went and danced with the. Now I'm talking about it. This night's pretty gay. We actually ended up to, <laughs> we actually ended up in a in a bar where a shirtless, well built black dude came and danced with us. Yeah, it was the weird like <laughs> was, so. When you say it out loud, we had a. Pretty, pretty, pretty I, gay I time. explained it to somebody else, and they were just like, "What?" And it was like, <laughs> to be honest though, so it was really unusual because he just he got his shirt off and was dancing, and he was like properly going for it, and yeah, like in was, any he any was doing fast move, fast foot switchy movement. Yeah, dancing. any like bar or club or anything I've ever been to, and you used to be on the doors, the security would be like, "Put out. your shirt on or get out." Mm. Fair enough. They did not care. No. He was going for it, and then like <laughs> I saw him like glance over at me and like a few times. And then, like Lex, you were stood like you were you were a little bit in front of me. So he was. Yeah, we were in, we us. were doing the circle dance. Yeah, and cool. then and then he ca- he came over and he like put his hand on your on your back and he was like talking in your ear and I was like I was literally like getting ready to hit this guy on the side of the head. And I was just like it's, it's, it's something about to fucking kick off here, and uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, but that's what that's what was going on because like it normally mean. when something like that goes on. Yeah. And then I was and then he walked off and he was smiley and he like came and shook my hand and I was like. Well, I wasn't expecting that. And I was like, what the fuck did he say? And he was, go on, tell him. <laughs> I don't remember what he said. His words were, you're, you're, oh, that, was it? Yeah. you guys are fucking massive. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you should take your shirt off and dance that with me. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, no, he was, oh, fuck, what was it? I had a lot of whiskey. Uh, Basically. You two, oh, come on, you two are massive. That was it. You've worked hard for, you've worked hard for those. You must want to show it off. Yeah. And the, the, I think as well, it's important to state that Shoreditch, is just full of really like trendy people that probably don't lift. They so everyone was don't like, lift. they're all just like skinny people. Yeah. So like, we were the only three people that lifted <laughs> in the entire like club. Yeah. So uh, he identified a fellow lifter. He did. He's only like a Terminator. Didn't yeah. He? <laughs> And he was going for it all night. Oh, he didn't get in stop, did he? Yeah, yeah. He, he was still shirt. That's why the night. I know. And that that the doorman clearly didn't. He even almost high fived him for it. Yeah, I know. It's because he was far more jacked than the doorman. Yeah, though. he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. That's a very good point. <laughs> and then we went and got a really good kebab. Yes, that was actually really nice. Yeah, yeah. The the, the gig itself was really good. It was really, oh, yeah. really the gig. Yeah, very small. Um, Only three hundred people. I don't even think there was three hundred there. I'm. I'm I don't know. That. You know, people. Are, it's it's just it's. it's when you count 10 people, mm. you're like, oh, that's not a big space. True. It, there it, was at least 200, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, I would have said but, maybe two, 250, somewhere. It was a that. max capacity of 300, limited number of people allowed in, mm. and many competition winners there yeah. for it. Yes. And then other people who were just like industry people and whatnot. Mm. But it was, it was a very, very intimate um, little gig, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And the worst artist of the night was rudimental. Yeah, unfortunately. They, yeah. Weren't, they were not good. One, we didn't realize it was them. Nobody did. No, nobody. Like, uh, yeah. So we were. We realized for the final hour, we thought these guys had just come out and were just vibing and like va- vamping up for yeah. Rudimental to come out because we were like, "There's like five people in Rudimental, yeah. and there's usually collabs. They sing with other people, so we we're expecting someone to come out and sing live yeah. and do all that." And so we're literally shouting at these things. They uh, only played like one track that was recognizable. We, I recognized one. Yeah. yeah, but we were 
out loud, outwardly shouting at them, bring out rudimental. By poo. we, Lex. Lex had gone up to the stage, <laughs> got as close as possible to shout at rudimental, <laughs> to bring, bring out, out rudimental. rudimental. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolute fact. It was just like, but there was just literally two people. And yeah. I think I think there's, there's four a... people normally, and then they yeah. generally have someone on vocals or something, but that, that person would change. Yeah, and apparently, yeah. So anyway, it was, it was a great, it was, yeah. I know loads of people that, well, multiple well, people were talking about it and just like... When he finished, everyone was like, did Rudimental not come out? And everyone was like, no, that was them. Yeah. There was like, like I'd say 50% of the people in the room were like, where's Rudimental? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's always a good start. But there was no introduction. There was no, here's Rudimental. There was no nothing. No, and he kept saying, are you, ready? are you ready for Rudimental? Yeah. Which makes no sense. Yeah. Because he is it. Yeah. But that's what confused everybody. Yeah. Are you ready? And then the other guy who was with him was just getting drunk. He wasn't really doing anything. No. Did you see when he took the phone off somebody from the crowd? No. So he took the phone off someone in the crowd and was on their stories and he started walking around the stage. Yeah. Walking is a, f- a kind way of saying staggering like a drunkard. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't notice that bit. Yeah, I think he pressed like two buttons the entire set and the rest of it was drinking vodka. Well. He may have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it was a free bar, so come on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, it was a really fun night and that was all courtesy of the last person you heard on here. Uh, Mr... Zach Hancock, Hancock. Yeah. original Hancock on Instagram. Uh, absolutely one of my favourite human beings. Yeah, he's he was just awesome. the And he was human. hilarious after when he came out. Oh, so yeah. he'd been working, he'd been like grafting all night and then had to try and catch up with the drinks. So. Yes, yeah, yeah, he was grafting hard. Um, yeah, so that was really fun out in London. And I got the pleasure of staying there for the next day and came back up on the train. Trains suck. Yeah. Literally. Trains still suck. Haven't been on a train for over a year. Mm. They still shit. Yeah, they are. They yeah, shit. Not good. First one didn't have a plug, so I couldn't work on it. <laughs> it's yeah. an hour and 15 ride Shrewsbury, Birmingham yeah. then Birmingham, London that whole Shrewsbury to Birmingham bit no plug on the train it's meant to be, it's people commuting yeah. they need to go to work and then on the way back there was a plug it's probably just an old train isn't it yeah and then uh, so yeah that was put. I had I only had to catch two trains and in trying to catch two trains there were two delays and a cancellation that's more things than there were trains <laughs> <laughs> yep that's yeah. trains for you. I did manage to catch my correct train on the way back, so I had a booked seat, so that was all right. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I watched, a, I watched a nana on the second train try to fight going to sleep amidst the of the train track, yeah. and she was failing miserably. She had a mask on, obviously, because she's yeah. a nana, and they've scaremongered them all into wearing masks everywhere they go. They probably sleep in masks now. Mm. Yeah. And she had, for some reason, she was like repositioning her mask, but it fell asleep mid-reposition. So then her mask just became a hand hammock. And it was hanging. <laughs> her hand was hanging from her chin in the mask. She was just nodding off. Oh, God. And then she tried to put her hand on the windowsill with her elbow on the edge of the window, which just kept slipping every mm. 15 seconds. She goes, and then back again. And it went on. I was like, oh, she'll figure it out in a minute. 10 oh. minutes later, she the 100th elbow slip. I don't think she woke up mid-elbows. I think it was pure reactions. Yeah. She just did it. I'm still technically asleep still in her going. brain. Yeah. And uh, awesome. yeah, that was my journey home. Then I got back and I've just been, yeah, sorting out all the footage and oh, getting got, shit ready. I got sexually harassed at the gig. I got kissed. Yes, you did. Ran- random. By a, by a girl. Yeah, random woman. That's the, the, the most heterosexual thing that happened that night. Mm. Yeah, that's the only hetero- heterosexual. That was so I- funny. It was like watching you in a boxing match on a duck and weave. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. So, but it, that was- She was a clampet, wasn't yes. she? Yes. Trying to get me to go over to a friend's, and I was just like, Yeah, yeah, yes. I'll come over later. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking women. Pain in the <laughs> Just fucking women. Fucking women. All and, of them. I, and then I was like, I'm going to tell Emma now because oh, I don't yeah. want to not tell Emma that some random person's kissed me. I was like, kiss I, you on the cheek. Though. Yeah, I know. I was like, I, I, I just was like, it's, I don't it's know. It's not like Emma listening to what happened, but my pants fell down. She kissed my penis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was just yeah. like, I don't know. I Everybody just, outside the pants down. I don't know what happened. It was pure accident. Lex had his pants down. Like, everyone's we pants down. We were in bed now. with Lex. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, it's all right. You, you were. I, I loved how offended you were by it. I know, I you were like, genuinely. Yeah, pissed the thing off. is, if it was the other way around, that would be so bad. Oh no, yeah, because you didn't give her permission. Not at all. I was. No. I was fucking trying to walk away from her, and she fucking was like, Bleh. yeah, Bleh. 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 like a vampire. Yeah, I had to. Um, also, now I'm very aware how vulnerable I am to vampire attack. <laughs> yeah. I did not stop that kiss at all. <laughs> you would have been a gunner. Yeah. you'd have been a butt monkey slave. Yeah, yeah. or zombie. See, my, I, I, would oh, have Jesus, thought, yeah. I would have thought my reactions would have been better. Although they were dulled by... We drank a lot. We had at least 10 shots. I think we had... 
I would think we had more. I loved, I loved the, the fact part where I went to the the other bar and then the bartender kept getting me free drinks. That I oh, I yeah. had like five drinks when I was at the bar. He did, but they were they, yours. Yeah, they, they were. weren't like shots. They were probably like half. I say shots. they taped up as like a shot and a half extra, mm. probably. Maybe yeah. But that uh, when oh, when the little dude at the bar in the open bar thought I said he was hot, yeah. So we got like doubles, and yeah. they weren't allowed to serve. Doubles. Yeah, they were. Yeah, and I actually just said the room was really hot. Yep. But over the immense speakers. Yeah, this small little camp like <laughs> bartender. He was like, I don't know what he like. He was just a very happy chappy. Yeah. And he, then we were like bantering a little bit with him, and then I think he just misheard what I said, and then was suddenly we got doubles. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> we asked for doubles initially, and like, we can't serve doubles. Yeah. So then I was just like, well, can we get two singles then? And yeah. then we just like poured our singles in. But yeah, then he started uh, being more generous with the, the pourings. I think we were just polite and nice, maybe. Yeah. And uh, that, Yeah, so then we ended up, so, but I do remember when we came back with the doubles, and I held it up to you, and I was like, does this look like a double to you? And you're like, it looks like a, not one of our doubles. I was no. like, yeah, that to me is like it looked like a single, yeah, and it was a double. So like, we pour triples at least, like, triples. at least, yeah, yeah. And probably tr I'd say triples to quadruples. And I ha I found this out then when I went to a bar the other week mm. and I asked for a double Buffalo Trace, yeah, and it was a, an event thing. So I was only having one, so I said I'll get a double. And uh, I took it back to the bar and went, "Oh, you ordered a double?" And they went, mm, "That is a double, sir." <laughs> I was like, oh, I, oh, uh -oh. oh, I'll just walk backwards slowly out. <laughs> Talking of uh, doubles. Oh, yes. Shall we uh, crack this bad boy open? Today's crew cast is, it's always a good one today. Yeah, it is. Ready? Oh. This, now, this is one we went and handpicked. Yep. From so, the wine press that Lou's been nagging me to go and see. And it's actually really cool. Mm. It is uh, super loaded with... The most drinks I've ever seen in one building. How do you even say that name? Mitchters? Right, I bought this because the guy said, I said bourbons. He went, this is the bourbon to get at the moment. And it was not cheap, but it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a proper old school bottle. Yeah. Do you know what that looks like? That looks like it could have, it could wear a red coat and be part of the army. The yes. red coat's army. Yep. <laughs> if you just put it, a little red coat on that, it'd be like. It's very American. In the name of the queen. Like, yeah. Or the king. In yeah. the name of the king. So it's um, Mictus, I'd say that is. It's, yeah. it's spelled like Mictus. M I C H T E R S, but I think it's Mictus, and it's a small batch one. This so it's seventeen fifty three, and it's the U S number one. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon. Oh hell yeah! I'm actually looking forward to this one. <clears throat> I really like bourbons. It's forty five point seven percent, so it's a good one. Um, ninety one point four proof. I never understood the difference between that. What's no, that mean? I don't understand the proof part. What's the point of it anymore? I don't know. Mm. Maybe we should look into the unless they're just different units of measurement, same as how how you'd have like liters and ounces. Because proof is always massively high. Oh, look at this! So it's got a batch number on it, and it's that's a little handwritten. No, well, it's not handwritten. I saw, is I, it? I no. saw on the back of the box. I don't know if it's on the back of the bottle. Uh, there's a bit of information about it. You know the posher in the community box. Posher. Mm, Here we yes. go. It was a nice box too. So it is uh, the US is number one small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. We're proud to offer. You are a very small writing. Point out <laughs> I need some glasses. I need glasses. We are proud to offer you our small batch bourbon. In the Mictus, which we assume is the way of saying it, traditional hailing. In 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 the Mictus tradition, ha tradition, hailing from one of America's first whiskey distillers, this bourbon is made from the highest quality American corn and matured to the peak of perfection in hand-selected charred white oak barrels. It is then further mellowed by our signature filtration. Maybe it's played really nice music just to mellow it out. Mm -hmm. like it's just Hendrix. Yeah. All Should the time. Relaxing it. Just mellowed. There you go. That's what it says. Should we so it is a small a, batch one. Should we pour a real double? Let's pour what you should can, be a proper double. You can pour what you right, want. I pour. need to pour a re, like an actual real human double because I've oh, got a drive. <laughs> it's a corked. Finally. Oh, a corked oh yes. Oh, oh, that's a great. This is going to be cheeky. Oh, he's an aggressive one. Oh, I think that's the best yet. Yeah, that was good. The, that the, is a good the anticipation. One. It's got a real fat, Big like fat, that looks it's bit, bulbous. So you know, you immediately what you're thinking. It's a bulbous end. It's a bulbous end. Yeah, <laughs> it's like disproportionately. It's, a bit phallic. it's disproportionately large at the end for the rest of the bottle. Don't you like think? a candlestick holder. It is. Yeah, you you genuinely could probably. Oh, you actually probably. No, the actual opening is quite thin. 
That's what she said. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I failed it. We all know now what it is. Oh, it's a good noise. Right, that to me is a double, right? That's massive. That's probably four shots, isn't yeah, it? it is. Oh, well. That's why our bottles disappear so much. Oh, no. Look, we only had two drinks, eight shots later. <laughs> you put exactly the same. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, no, that's slightly less, I think. Okay, yeah, if it makes you feel better. Oh, I like that. I don't care if it makes me feel better, I need it to make me feel soberer. Soberer. More soberist. <laughs> need to be the most okay. soberest. So this is Mictus, small batch, and we've also got some of the old... We don't have any proper cigars this week because... Uh, we forgot to buy any when we went to the whiskey shop. We got carried away with the whiskeys. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have some of the little fun ones I like, which are the Royal Duchess. I oh, need my voice to recover because of all the fucking shouting because oh, it was so noisy in there. The next that. day, I was like, all right, yeah, pal, you We, we could have gone to a jazz bar and sung. <laughs> yeah. My just, sticky shoes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I think just having a little one is probably the best thing for my vocal cords. How nice was it to be out? It was actually really good, yeah. I'll out, everybody just... Not giving a fuck. There was no social distancing. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was just literally same as normal. And, yeah. and I think that was really good is the fact that it was a completely different environment with completely different people. You were literally the only person I knew. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like such yeah, a. It was, it was very liberating. Yeah, and it made us. And we we ended up in a group of like, we started with just me and you, and then yeah. by the end of the night there was seven or eight of us. Yeah. And that was just through you just, just chat chats. Yeah. And a couple of introductions. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. And, by, and then... <laughs> Talking okay. of the introductions, are we going to say how... So when... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you don't want to... Probably not. <laughs> sure probably shouldn't talk funny. about that. <laughs> yeah. the, what you misheard. Oh, they talk gonna, about that. Yeah. Well, oh, what was the other one? <laughs> the, no, I'll tell you after. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah, go on then. So we, we were <laughs> lecturing at the bar getting a drink. I was just stood like... A step behind him because it was you know the bar was fairly busy yeah um and, and this i always girl... make lou walk at least a step behind me yes yes yeah, yeah, as you do yeah i'm normally holding his pocket as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was so that was so fast that was so fast so uh, the, uh, <laughs> these two girls started talking to me um that was just stood behind and i thought they were just making conversation as we were like waiting at the bar and then one of them like oh i know zach um and then yeah got got like chatting to me and they're like oh do you, are you friends with Lex because they must have known that they did the podcast or they've been yes. doing content Zach yeah. had been doing content with you um and anyway you turned around with the drinks and I was like oh I need to try and introduce these people to Lex um and I firstly pointed to the one and said oh this is Zach's part. It was also going to point out it was really cool because you disappeared for a bit and I turned around and you just appeared back with two women you were like here, Lex. <laughs> women, I have found them. It, it's a skill that I appear to have not lost. <laughs> Lou has found women for you. Yeah. I'll take women now. <laughs> and, and anyway, so uh, and I said, this is Zach's partner. And because uh, of loud music, you, you actually asked me to re repeat it, which yeah. I did, and it still came out the same, apparently. <laughs> Lex, what did, what did you think I said? I heard Lewis appear with two women and go, Lex, these are sex workers. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> it's the fact that, and I literally looked at you wide-eyed, yeah. like, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. Not, you're not getting, you're me not again. getting me, Lou. You're not getting me. I am not falling for it. Well, I'd already pranked you earlier on in the day, so you were like already suspicious of yes. me. So on the train. Oh, son of a bitch! I'm gonna play that. Ah, oh, I'll play it at the end. Oh, I'll play it. I'll play. Oh, it. you've got it. Yeah. yeah so so uh, bear in mind, I'm on a train from Shrewsbury to Birmingham. So we've not hit Birmingham yet, which means I'm on a train with nice people old little people I and mean, just people going about their daily there were book readers yeah. on my carriage yep it was and quiet and I lewis kn knows i knew lex was on the train and you know how i listen to voice messages yep and i was like oh let's uh fingers crossed all the time and works out good and lex is gonna play so this let's just set the picture i'm on the train i've got my laptop up but it's not plugged in it's so I'm just doing some picture edits. Just going through some nice messages, like setting everything out for when we get there, making sure you're, you know, on your way, everything's all right, because Lou drove and I was on the train. I was like, oh, Lou sent me a nice message. Oh, he's probably just, you know, checking in, I'm all right, and he's on his way. And I press play and then get this. Hello, mate. Um, your extra large butt plugs that you've ordered, as well as the super-sized dildos are in. So you should have some great fun with them next week. All right, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> 
I love the way you finish it off like it is the only message you're sending yeah. me as well. All right, mate. Like probably casual, like, you know, those other butt plugs and dildos you've ordered because you've already got tons. It just sounds so fucking casual. Ca- and I just was on the train just going, son of a bitch. <laughs> you just like look around everyone, just go, don't judge me. <laughs> So loud. It was so... I had my phone on full volume. Full volume. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes, <sighs> you know, the stars align and something like that's able to happen. Oh, dear. But it was, it was a fun, it was a fun day. I literally was rushing around like, a, mm. like fucking crazy. The manager's off this week and this was literally just, we we decided we were going to do this. We, on, need, we need to drink some of these wishes. So, um... Ice is melting. I'm going yes. to interrupt you to have Clink. a taste of this. So this is the small batch. Yes. First sip. Then you can carry on your story. Mmm. It's got a heat to it. Mm. That is a... That is... Ooh, that's getting hotter. Ooh, that is a mid-mouth nice heat. That's nice. That is really smooth. It's all... It's really... Um, there's no sweetness though. Really, there's a lot of um, there's like that kind of. Oh, what's that aftertaste there? It's like a not maybe a toffee-ish. Kind I was of. gonna say I was gonna say caramel or toffee, mm. but it's not, it's not sweet. It's got that kind of like a bonfire toffee-esque yes. kind of thing. Yeah, that, that's it. The yeah. smokiness to it as well. I'm going in number yeah, two. Going, number two is usually a little bit cooler. Mm. Mm, no, it's still pretty hot. Mm. That. That spice goes up into your nose if you if you let it as well. It's quite nice. Mm. That's a that's a very nice. It's a very nice bourbon. That is actually really easy to drink mm. and not overly hot or warm. I, you, I was going to say I have nothing in my throat though. Like, no, no nothing. Heat. Zero. It it's ends in, my, in the middle of my mouth. Yes, yeah, it doesn't even get to the throat. Mm. Fair she said. Oh, I was <laughs> about to do it. You bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that is good. Mm. I think it was around about fifty-five, sixty quid. It was quite expensive. I think that was one of but the... But it's because they're hard to get hold of, that yes. one. Which yeah, that so, was it. Considering how hard it is to get hold of, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, so the, especially in the UK, that's not, you a, said just not an easy one When people have it, they don't have a lot of stock of it. So. Fair enough. Yeah, delightful. Uh, we are, you would definitely want that with an ice cube, though. Uh, at least one or two, because it is, it is hot, and the ice will just take the edge off that heat. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. Anyway, so I was saying before, I was rushing around. Let me, let me start and stop the recording, and then you carry on. Yeah. So yeah, you were you were on a on a on a mim- mim- mission. Yeah, it's been like it all this week. Because I've, I've can I just point out how the how the, the quick booking of things went. Lou, do you want to get a train? Yeah, Lex, train. I'm gonna get a train. You just don't want to drive, Lou. It'll be like you know we can have a bit of a chat and banter. Like, nah, nah, trains all the way because trains are easy. I train. Trains are probably good because I'll train and then I'll get the train so we can get the train and then we'll just get on the train on the train to London. So I booked my train and the morning we're going. Lou rings up and goes, Yeah, I'm gonna drive. <laughs> it, wasn't the mo- it wasn't the morning we were going. It was the it was day. three it's minutes da- before I was setting off my train. It was Lou the day me. before. <laughs> it was. And hold on. And to my defense, it the day before. It was the day before. Yeah. That's when so I, the day before. Oh, you see, that's, so that's the, you've on, been organized. Me, it would have been on, on the, the day. On the Monday, though. <laughs> if, you, if you want to check back to my defense, <clears throat> my last message to you was saying, I think train's probably best. Let me know what you think, and then we can get it sorted. You didn't reply to that message, and you ah, booked. I, I, I parry your shot mm-hmm. and thrust thus forward to the previous voice message where I said, yeah, trains will be fine. Well, I still wanted confirmation. <laughs> the thing, basically, the reason I was planning on getting a train, it was just one side actually, because I I just didn't have time to check any other. You times. just get back, didn't you? So to yeah, work the, the next the trains. Were, why would why would the, were you just saying if, if a train fucked, you'd have been fucked? Yeah, basically, if if there was any delays, I, firstly I would have had to have got, got like a train at seven o'clock in the morning, which would have been oh. even less sleep. Oh right, and so it was taking you longer to get trains. Yeah, and if really? anything went wrong, yeah, if anything went wrong, any delays, anything which almost certainly is. I'd miss Which stuff. You were booking. right because I just said I had two delays and a, a cancer fucking lation. Yeah, it's summer. What the fuck are they cancelling trains for? Well, when did you get on your train? To I was supposed there? to get on my train at two o'clock. Yeah, I didn't get on a train till twenty to three because of the cancellations. So I probably wouldn't have even been able to have got to the train station until like four o'clock. I didn't get into London until what, nearly six? Yeah, we both got in about six. Retarded amount of time. Oh, we didn't. We didn't actually talk about. Um, oh yeah, what's it called? Box. box. So yeah, box. when I when what's I arrived off the, I went. I had to then get off the train, get the underground to the overground to get to Shoreditch, which was the wrong fucking way to go. The tip burger in the bloody. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna take us back there. I mean, I was going to call him a tip burger for sending me the long way around, but I said I wanted to get to Shoreditch Station, so technically he sent me there. What he should have said was, you could have gone to um, 
I think it's called Old Street Station, and just walked five minutes to, the hotel, to where I needed to get to. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, it was better because I ended up, when you get off Charlotte Station, you walk out of the station, pretty much right on the doorstep of it is Box Park. Yes. Box which Park. is this <clears throat> sick little street food, permanent pop-up style eatery yeah. with probably like 12 different oh, outlets in it, loads of bars and stuff, and it's just absolutely bustling. It's it, really, really funky. It's literally made of like probably... 40 storage steel storage containers all stacked up painted matte black yeah and then they've built like seating in there so inside each of the containers is its own mini restaurant and you know the kitchen's all at the back you sit at your table and then you scan the app and it brings up everything that's there like and the, there was a, a good choice of uh restaurants there all really random things yeah. we wanted to go to the the armenian grill was it Oh yeah, with Argentinian. Arg Argentinian grill, yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah, because I yeah, got you, confused. You thought, you thought Argentinian, then you thought, oh, that's like the band system of a system down. Then, then you went Argentinian. No, Armenian. You did like a Ross. Yeah. You were just trying to remember that person's name at the wedding. Yeah. When he's like, Linda McClocken. Linda McClocken. You know, you <laughs> yeah. thing. You were like Argentina, Armenian. Yeah. I think my they bad. probably are more. more, more Armenian. They, they are Armenian, yeah. yeah. That was my but, yeah, my brain. We, but then we couldn't find that, so we <clears> ordered the one that did the biggest burger, which happened to be literally where we were sat. Yeah, and it was so it good. It was the best burger, I think. Salt I, shed. I actually think it might be the best burger I've ever had. I'd definitely say it was up there for me, yeah. The, the, I can't think of one that stands out above it, because no. No, mainly for me is the way it stayed together. Every mm. layer, every bite, nothing fell out. It was delicious. Like, every bite I was going like, oh my God. Yeah, and it was the meat was really good quality meat. Oh. It was like it wasn't just minced crap. Yeah, like you could tell that it was good cuts of meat that had gone into making the burger. That's why it wasn't falling apart because it was solid meat. And then it had oh. so it had meat on it, and didn't it have like pastrami on it as well or something. Um, and then like a it was a cured bacon, cured bacon. Then a house mayo, which was fucking delicious, mm. and something else. Oh, it was just the best. If you go, it was called the Salt Shed. The salt Shed, and we ordered the double cheeseburger with the aged. I think it was made with flank steak, you know. That's why it was mm. delicious. It was nice. Flank steak is good if you get good cuts. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Uh, when I got there, and and I, I phoned you up saying, all right, I've just parked up, mate, where are you? And you're like, oh, I'm just at this place, Box Park. And then I, I, I turned up and it was like, you needed to like download an app before you could even mm. enter. I was like, fuck's sake, let's just pick somewhere complicated. <laughs> I just want to go and ask for food and then <laughs> give me the food. And I was like, I'm, I, once I actually got in there, though, I was just like, oh, this was totally worth it. It's actually yeah. pretty sick. I think for me, because I'm not like... I'm not like a trendy person in that sense. Do you know what I mean? I'm not yeah. like, I, I'm, you know, I'm just. Yeah. But that's what I like about the box park area on. is it is trendy, but there's literally very practical football, five or five football pitch and stuff behind it. Yeah. So you just get people rocking in after they've been, you know, playing out and mucking around in the parks and stuff. It was an awesome mix of people, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's just and loads of people turning out, coming out after work. Mm. And it basically what it is, is there's different, there's just big, it's basically, there's a, four corners of each room and in each corner will be some kind of restaurant or a bar and then in the middle of the room it's just these huge long benches and tables so you all sit together and it's awesome um yeah definitely cigar time yeah, yeah. no it was it was very cool very cool uh, oh, and, uh, that, the, oh that burger dude thinking about it i want another one definitely get another one when i go back mm. yeah no, it was good. No, yeah. Oh, then I wandered off. I wish I didn't to go and find the Armenian place. Oh yeah, I thought you. I thought you got lost. <laughs> so is, I was like... Yeah, and then we worked out there's actually multiple levels, and the one I was looking for was on a different level altogether. So we ended up, but on my way through, I was filming bits, obviously, because I got the vlog coming out for it. And on my way through, somebody accosted me, who was all tattooed up with some dope rings. He's called something the creator, Jay the creator, is called. And then we got chatting about the cameras, and he was like, oh, "I'm doing a documentary at the moment, actually, about." Um, get influencers and how they got where they're going and you know impact and things like that they've had in their life and um, we're trying to get the documentary on discovery and then he was like want to be in it just in this chat after chatting i was like uh yeah cool Fuck yeah. Cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. If you, yeah cool you got even food. if it's just a trip down to london to do a cool interview and then go for food i'm down like mm -hmm. you know and then i sort of came back to you after like 15 minutes of you being like where the fuck were you i was like yeah. i couldn't find the Argentinian place because it doesn't exist and it's definitely not an armenian place also i might be in a documentary <laughs> i was like we've been in london for 15 minutes yep <laughs> No, nobody asked me to be in a documentary. They, well, I'm sure they would if there was a documentary about having girthy toddler legs. Yes. You would be the one and only to come to. Hopefully so. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody would appreciate that. Mm. Do you know what I did today, mate? Booked your bike? No. God damn it. <laughs> no, sorry. Bathroom's still not done. Uh, <laughs> any toilers, any toilers hooked me up. 
because I don't even know when I'm going to get time to do that. So if anyone's a tiler in the West Midlands area, well. yeah, I'm going to have to because I literally don't have time. The, right, here's the thing you need to remember as well. It's what money are you losing for all the time you're spending doing that job you could just pay somebody else to do? Like if, if that money even balances out as zero, it's worth paying somebody else to do the fucking thing. It's because I want to... I want to do it for the fun of it as well, but it's I'm just really struggling and now it's trying to it's really dragging on massively. It so. has not been fun for you the last two times I talked to you about it. No, it's been a stress. No, because I like working, yeah. but I don't like not being able to get it just done. Get, get do you know what I mean? It gets yeah. frust- it gets frustrating, but yeah, it's all good there. Um, so yeah, if there is anyone who is a toiler who's near the uh, West Midlands, mm. let me know because I could. I need, I need help. Yeah, I need help. And if you're lucky, you can kiss him on the cheek. Yeah, if you're fast. If you're not even that fast, actually. If you just kind of confuse him with words prior yeah. and then go in. Yeah. Or if you tie your hair up in a ponytail and then just act like a clamp it, yeah. then you can get one in there. Yeah, that's always a good one. <laughs> always, always an easy way in for me. So that was so funny. You were so genuinely annoyed by it. I was. Like, I've never seen you... Like I've seen you annoyed. But I mean, I, I, I was looking at you as if you were joking and then I realised you were genuinely pissed. Yeah. Genuinely pissed. And you were like, there's a lipstick on my cheek. And I had to get my torch on my phone <laughs> out to check it, to lipstick check your cheek. Yeah. And you were like, get out of here, clamp it. <laughs> you turned it to Muttley. Like, right, right, right. Yeah. Well, anyway. <clears throat> oh, no, was, yeah. But, to, today, what was I going to say? What are you going for? Do you know what I've done today? You, mm. don't, you don't know what I've done. Uh, is it work related? No. It's personal? Yeah. Mm, shaved lightning bolt into pubes. Yes. <laughs> Have but you done other that? that? No, no Have I haven't. Have you ever tried? No, I haven't. No, That'd I haven't. be really hard. <laughs> Comment anybody who's shaved weird shapes into the uh, nether regions. I'd quite like to see how many people have tried it. <laughs> and how many of you cut yourselves or ended, up with, or ended up with something savagely wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, super nut. Remember that as well, oh, people. Yeah, super nut. Super never, nut never let super nut die. Never let super nut die. Next one, next one, that stand you out on, guys or girls. Super nut. Even if you're a girl, shout yeah. super nut. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, even, <laughs> probably more so we need to do yeah, that. Just, yeah, just see the shock in the dude's eyes. <laughs> Super nut. What? <laughs> so, uh, so what I did, it, I went to Twycross Zoo today. Oh, um, I should I've, have known I briefly, that. You told me I briefly mentioned it. it. So um, this was something for my missus' dad as a birthday present. We got him a giraffe feeding experience. So funny. And, we, and so he, he's always like <laughs> loved giraffes just randomly, just thought they were a cool animal. And uh, yeah, we got a giraffe feeding experience there, and we got we spent the day at the zoo. Um, giraffes are, I know, obviously giraffes are big, aren't they? Big? But they're fucking they're ridiculous. massive. Like when their head is next to you, yeah. like their head's like nearly the size of my torso. Yes, well, I've never had them that close. I've I've always seen them, but they've never been that close. And they're like me. their tongues and their lips are super dexterous. Like how they <laughs> how they strip the 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 leaves off the off the oh, uh, branches. Think. The tongue is like a, a limb. Yeah, it literally yeah. like wraps around and then just and then just leaves just the stick. It's crazy, and uh, yeah, they were they're very cool, very gentle, and like oh, I really? don't know, just but they're massive, very almost prehistoric though when you're up close to them. Huge eyelashes as well. Did you kiss you on the cheek? No one kissed. No, no <laughs> giraffe. I I was I was ready. I was primed yeah, in case <laughs> in case it was going for my cheek. So did you what did you feed them? Leaves. They literally just eat branches. Like, They're that massive and eat leaves. They're taking a piss. Yeah. So, so you have to eat like eight some, chickens a week. Some guy, like literally as we were going over, so like uh, two of the, the workers at the zoo, um, one of the, 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 this woman basically who was like telling us all about the drafts and about them personally, one of them had a name kind of like Sultana. I think it was Serana or something like that. And the other one was called Not Brad. Serena. No, 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 two men. Serana and Brad. Yeah, Serana and Brad. And, uh, and, and, uh, that was when two different people got to name them. And the yeah. first one was really attentive yeah. and was probably a lovely little little like woman who was like, oh, it looks like Serana. And then it came to like Dave, the guy who mucked stuff out. Dave, do you want to name one? This is, you've not, you haven't been able to name the monkeys or any of that. And we know you like the reptiles and you wanted to keep the snakes. And you can't have the snakes. I mean, we've been, anyway, anyway, Dave, no, going back to that. No, Dave, shush. Look, we're going to let you name the giraffe. What's your name the giraffe? Brad. Brad. I've got, a, I've got a friend who's tall and his name is Brad. Yeah, so that fits right. Brad. Call him Brad. Really? Really, Really, Dave? That, that's what... We're going to have to put this on a plaque. Yeah, Brad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they were cool. Short for Bradley. Bradley. <laughs> yeah. Now, they were, it was really... Uh, it took about half an hour we were there with them. Never been that up close. They have to treat them like... I think they, they call them category A's, which basically is the same as how they treat any of like, the lions or anything like that as a highly, highly dangerous. So mm. not because... So they're never 
or very, very, very rarely aggressive towards humans, but they're more dangerous by accident because they are so big. Is massive. Yeah, they said like because they're skittish as well, so they could kick. Not we were on a high platform, but have you seen how giraffes fight? They wallop each other with their heads. Yeah, and it's they've got savage. If you've never seen a giraffe fight, Google it right now. Imagine that neck as a as a whip, and only as many and, bones in the neck as us. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, seven bones in the neck or something like that. Crazy yeah. for a long ass neck. But um, whipping it, and they've got these big hard lumps on their head like horns. But then they don't come to a point. They're just like nodules. Yeah, they're just nodules. And apparently, when they're uh, when they're born, they're literally like soft and jelly like and then uh within a few days blood starts to get to them and they start to calcify and then they actually join onto the skull and they're literally like extensions of the skull savage yeah that's pretty cool yeah because they're lighter i like them. yeah I, I would love to actually i think that's pretty cool i've been and done um lemurs fed fed lemurs ring-tailed lemurs they are awesome they have proper little hands and they come up and take grapes and stuff from you. And then they won't take the stuff that you're supposed to feed them. They're like, no, motherfucker. We know you've got grapes. Give me the fucking grapes. I want your wallet. Yeah, yeah, give me the grapes and give me your wallet, motherfucker. Also, look how cute my motherfucking baby is. And yeah. you're like, oh, shit, take all the grapes. Yeah, I got some, I, I was, uh, we were in with the lemurs. We didn't actually get to feed the lemurs. And um, we there was these like little, I don't even know what they were, little colourful birds, like parakeets or something like that. Mm. And it's a pound for this little pot of, it's like, I don't know, like a sap or something like that. And they'll just come no. and feed out of the pot. While you're but, holding it. But yeah, if you put your arm out on the sap there, they'll just jump onto your arm. I, I've awesome. got some photos of them just like chilling on your arm. And they they do not give a crap. Like they'll they'll just climb on you. One of them just started attacking my so I had like a the bird or the lemur? The the bird. The bird. Just started attacking my, my Velcro strap on my sleeve <laughs> and was just like pulling yeah. on it. What's this? Yeah, yeah, it's literally I was just like I've got the pot of nectar and he's like, No, I've got your sleeve. <laughs> Yeah. Do they make you wear anything weird when you go in, like hair nets and stuff or anything else? Yeah, nothing. So no. Just stay looking all right. Yeah, and that was like you didn't have to book that. You literally just as you're walking in, you can just pay one pound for your little. It's like a little shot glass, but Where it's only across the. How far away is that? Like Leicestershire, it's like an hour. That sounds far. Yeah, Leicestershire's not far, is it? No, it's like an hour. Is Leicestershire different to Leicester? No, Leicestershire is the greater area. I drove to Leicester once. It was bloody miles away. Maybe that's because I lived up north at the time. Mm. Huh. I am closer to more things now. Yeah, when you when you live further away, stuff is further away. Odd. Strange that. That wouldn't happen if the world was curved. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, also, like, the zoo was, like, pretty quiet. I suppose we picked a good time. Oh, that'd be awesome when it's quiet. And, like, we saw... There was loads of stuff that was, like, really eventful. There was... Um, so, like, we saw the orangutans when they first woke up, and the... Uh, orangutan like the male orangutan is fucking huge yeah and they're massive and then there was the mom which is literally half the size and then the baby which was probably like a quarter of the size and the the male was like going around the bottom picking up all the veg and the mom and the baby were so cautious they obviously like he must be aggressive if he doesn't get to get oh, his food really? first and they were obviously hungry as well so they were like up in the roof like hanging around waiting and even after he would gathered all his food and he was like it's weird because they use their feet to carry stuff even when they're walking so he was mm. walking along carrying like a cucumber in his foot as well as having <laughs> like a pepper and all these other things and he was like walking along and then pom punked himself down and then just sat there eating and then they slowly started literally over like 10 minutes they were like come down they'd stop and they'd be watching him to like make sure nothing was going to happen and then the baby like put one foot on the floor and was still like hanging and was watching and then really? he slowly put his other foot on the floor and then he went <laughs> off and started getting some food and then he literally the, the dad turned around and they just went and ran off really mm, yeah and so there was an abusive a, father yeah an abusive that father that doesn't look like a living that doesn't look like a good place for those animals to be and well I imagine that's very similar to how it be in the world there was a gorilla is and that, that like, is that orangutan called Baza Big Baz he was wearing a string vest did he have an England football shirt on <laughs> <laughs> there was the gorillas and uh the silverback, the big male silverback, was fucking huge again. And, as big uh, as the orangutan or bigger? Or just big in a different way? Big in a different way. Probably size-wise, not that different. Yeah, but I like, think they're much different. Super, right? like, just jacked. super jacked. Yeah, yeah, like, it had wrinkles where its lats were because its lats Jesus. were so massive. They were just overhanging its ribs, like, with... It was fucking ridiculous. And that threw up. <laughs> it's just... He was... So, what appeared to be licking piss off the floor... Oh my god! And then threw up, and then started eating the sick. <laughs> we must have been like that at one stage. Yeah. What do As you mean? Humans. I'm pretty sure there's some people <laughs> like that in Shoreditch the other day. <laughs> I put up a story. You want if you only listen to this now and you didn't see it. 
Uh, Can I have the lighter again, mate? Sorry. I there was a, are they going out, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They go out pretty quick. Um, there was a guy turned up, and the only way you can describe him was is Hagrid, who, if Hagrid mated with Garfield. I'm good. And then we get the bottom of it. We get the bottom of it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah it, imagine imagine Hagrid had sex with Garfield and they had a kid. This is what this guy turned up looking like. He was um, not slim, wearing a coat inside in one of the warmest buildings we've been in in a long time. He had also a bandana on his head, but tied up like a nana would wear it. Yeah, like it's literally like draped just over had his a, hair. Just had a blue rinse and left the left the hairdressers, and it's raining a bit. Mm. And and then he had white sandals on with white socks. Mm. It was bizarre. You put a picture up on your story, didn't you? I might put I might put it back up again on Monday just so you guys can go and have a look at it. And then I'm going to leave a poll on it. That's going to be like... height of fashion in Shoreditch. Yeah, we're going to say um, we're going to. I've got a shout out the 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 male corset guy. Mm. So as as we were walking back, so we were trying to find somewhere else to go, and we knew that Zach was going to be coming out, and we knew roughly where we needed to be getting to. And there was one girl who was there who was like, "Oh, I used to. Did she work there, or used to know the area somehow? I don't know." Oh, Maddie was. She'd been out in Shoreditch a lot. Oh, yeah, that was it. And she was like, "Oh yeah, we need to go to this place." Yeah. So we started heading out, and then like. Shout out to Maddie Tver, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you, she, legend. She like just she, took control of the if, night. If you took that, a holiday rep, there. if you yeah, took yeah. a holiday rep and merged it with a children's Saturday morning TV host, yeah, and then added booze, that was that's Maddie. Yeah, pretty much. This is a girl who ended up on the end of the night with a magician's hat on her head that he let her keep. Yep, that just sums her up. Yep, pretty much. Brilliant. Well yeah, done. Yeah, and um. Yeah, she was just like, this is where we're going. And then three random people who were at the gig as well just overheard us. One of them who we'd spotted early in the night because he was the campus man ever. Campus, no, but the campus man with the best energy. Oh, yeah, like, he, he was, was sick. He was on point the entire evening. Like, it never dropped. No. And just to give you perspective, he was, uh, he, would you say half cast or just a soft black guy? Um, He was he was a it's mixed, mixed script. Yeah, mixed Do white. You, I, sometimes they're not, off. though. Like well, sometimes you just get you might just it's different a, like different regions. Yeah. And but say the softer looking black guy. So still had a good fade going on, a nice skin tone. But he had like curls on top. But Those, short crop short hair with a little bit of curl, yeah. He was in like a um, it was a <coughs> a very so he had a white shirt on suit kind of Did he have braces. I don't think he had braces. He had, so he had a white shirt on and then a black corset over the shirt mm. and then dress pants. Yeah. With Nice pointy boot shoes. Yeah, really, really smart. Look, look smart. Yeah. And he had these like you know those glasses that are, lenses are really small. Yes, and they were like rose tinted oh, little oval glasses. little rose tinted. Yeah, would be reading glasses if you wore them in any other way. Yeah, but he just he looked sick. Worked, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. and he was just to- like totally on point mm. the whole. The whole yeah. the, and he was just mm, and he sat he, every his man everything nothing dropped. It was brilliant. The en- his energy was awesome. And he was funny as well. Mm. And uh, so him and his two or three mate, two or three buddies who yeah. were with him. Yeah, I don't even. I don't think. Oh no, the girl well, who was there was the, f- the was funny him. part of it was, and this is why I love Shoreditch. Mm. So he was uber fashionable gay guy mm-hmm. with massively camp <laughs> yeah. with a dude who was the most mancunian tiktoker yeah. you've ever met in your life yeah and this guy has a tiktok that basically reviews kebab shops <laughs> goes around kebab ma- shops <laughs> reviews <laughs> <doing> kebabs <laughs> and went it's fucking exploded yeah <laughs> fucking exploded dude this yeah. is the best one watch this one yeah yeah and, uh, uh, that that was was one, one. and the reason it exploded <laughs> is because he dropped the kebab on himself <laughs> Yeah, and then yeah, and then we found out his his main one, his dreams were dashed because Maddie pointed out that his main one wasn't actually a kebab; it was a uh, oh, she, a halal you get, snack pack. A halal snack pack. Yeah, yeah, which I didn't even know existed, but no. now want one. Yeah, never heard of that either. No, halal snack what pack. What a strange no it was. And remember her saying about what happened downstairs? <gasps> yeah, let's not talk about that. One. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, it involved yes things that you shouldn't see in public. Yeah, goddamn, that you just hope that didn't on. happen. But the, no, I hope it did happen. Fair enough. Hope, I've got like <laughs> four recommendations for whiskey because of the bartender as well. Oh, yes. Some weird one. Read them out, see if anybody agrees. Okay, this then. guy was knowledgeable. So the, the one that we tried, I still want to try that here, the, the Australian whiskey. Yeah, because we were trying to work out what flavors in that, and we ended up, we got beer barrel, didn't we? It was beer it was barrel. Like sh- sherry kind of. So uh, Starwood Twofold Double Grain Australian whiskey. Take it with that burping. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I burped like three times during that. Apologies. Uh, just that. Stop. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, 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 double, oh, yeah. twofold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fart. But, well, I did, but it was silent. Um, Starwood Twofold Double Grain Australian Whiskey. It's a fair old title. Yeah, it is. Um, so that was one of them. Uh, and then let me just search, because I'm going to have to go into my screenshots, because I screenshotted some of them. So it was, um, this one was a Welsh one. Um, Pendrin uh, Portwood Welsh Single Malt. Mm. Um, Lagav- Lagavulin, 16-year-old. Uh, and Talisker, 10-year-old. So those are the... Which was the one that you showed me that was... What was the one with the ridiculous amount of money on it? Bowmore, 52 years, £40,000. That, did that? Did people die making the whiskey? It's, it's in a wood... Like, the box is wooden and it comes in, and then there's, like, a presentation... Do you also get the piece. head of the person that made it? Like, what? A shrunken head of the actual maker? So it can be never be made again. £40,000. And, and, yeah, goddamn. So we won't ever get that. Well, actually, maybe one day. Yeah, a gold one day. set. Put, yeah. it on the, put it on the dream board. Yeah. 40,000. That'd be the stupidest waste of money. I know. But that kind of shit. Like, people like have viral videos from that, like trying a £40,000 whiskey, mm-hmm. and then like something will blow up. They probably never made the revenue back from YouTube to even scratch no. the surface. No. Definitely no. not nowadays. No. But, uh, yeah. So it was definitely worth it for that. He was, ne- what was he, Neon Viking? Was his Instagram? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Neon Five. Well remembered. Uh, no, I've got him on Instagram, so I'm gonna right. I'm, I'm gonna drop him a message and ask for more if they're good. Yeah. But that so literally just started talking to him. It's because I, I went over there to order some drinks, and he immediately started like sarcastically mimicking the Black Country accent, and then just, yeah, I was just like, oh, so know. then we just got chatting. So yeah, well, and then uh, probably wanted to shag me. But yeah, that is everybody. Yeah, so everyone, yeah. nice. you're on the awesome list. Yeah. Five star rated on Five star rated awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a bloody good time, actually. Mm, we really it we did it. It's a shame you couldn't stay the, the day after because that breakfast was delicious. We were, if you ever are in Shoreditch, try the, be- the Brecky Club. Um, uh, it was just... Oof. Oh, and um, Jody, who got breakfast there, got a vegan breakfast. Mm. And it's the only time, and I think the only time it'll ever be, where I looked over and was like, I'm a bit jealous. Mm. It looked delicious the colors on the plate and everything it looked like a moroccan dish yeah and it genuinely looked really appetizing although mine was awesome i had like the full old good old it's because they do the greasy spoon stuff or they'll do whatever you want mm. but so i kind of got a greasy spoon breakfast but made healthy with like poached eggs and, and all that stuff but mm. it was oh such a cool place and the coffee was good you oh. know because it was like obviously we've discussed about eventually going to like america doing like a gym tour of america and spending some time there that was like us on the road for like 24 hours and Look what happened. so much happened. <laughs> and I was, was like, now I'm genuinely was, like a bit... Ru- no, that but, wasn't... That wasn't even 24 hours. No. Dude, that was... It was like... 14 hours. Yeah, yeah. A lot <laughs> happened. I was like... Do you know what I think like... I find that though, whenever I go places, like I'm relatively chatty and I'll, I'll talk with people and whatever. Mm. Like stuff normally will go on and it will be eventful. And I think you're very much the same. Yeah. So then... Two of us together, plus lots of drinks. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, so I think uh, it'll either be amazing or absolutely terrible. I'm pretty sure One there's of us enough will end people up in prison. At the pitch, we'll be able to get like stay over at followers' houses and shit if we really wanted. Yeah, if we, if I've already got offers to go if I go to America. To really? People. So yeah, he's coming. Like, Come stay with me. He's like, yeah, I want murder you and put you in the cellar. Yeah, like, oh. it'll just be like misery. Have you seen misery? Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, we'll get like five out of six. Will be awesome, and the sixth one you'll never see us again. Mm. <laughs> What we'll do, we'll have to post where, where they are or what their name is beforehand, <laughs> yeah. just in case. And it's yeah, like, it's if you never there. see us again, the last place Come we're going, we're going to see Steve in <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. It's meant to be a bit of a dump, New Orleans. Mm. Other than that one bit. The food's meant to be amazing. Yes. And the, the food that I want to go. supposed to be really good. But yeah. as an actual place, apparently it's been let go a bit. Yeah, I guess really it's probably it going on. But yeah, the food is meant to be amazing. I love like gumbo and jambalaya and stuff mm. like that. It's tr- oh. <laughs> that is like the best food. So unhealthy, but amazing. Is it? Yeah. Just massively carby. A, 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 it's pretty much, well, actually, it's just everything. It's carbs. It's so much fat, lots of oil. I thought there was, is that not going to be like a paella? Um, yeah, but like, so you, you fucking do a roux and there's loads of, it's literally just an oil that then everything's uh, like okay. based in. And then it, effectively like a, a, well, like a, a jambalaya. Imagine 
making imagine boiling rice but instead of water you use gravy <laughs> oh, that's literally lovely. what it is and then like, like a meaty gravy that you make from scratch fuck me it's so good in the words of in the words of a small child i saw on tiktok the other day describing a jam sandwich it's lovely it's lovely. sounds lovely it, it does mate. <laughs> i just love it <laughs> Oh, you're on tiktok fully now i wasn't on tiktok actually it was um instagram reels and it just had tiktok in the screen because it obviously transferred it over but yeah there's this little this little kid just like i just love it it's lovely and she's like is it lovely it's, like, ah, it's lovely it's lovely and it's just bread yeah <laughs> with jam on it or something like that just kids are so easy. so easily entertained yeah i love i did these i used to eat a lot of bread as a kid feeding ducks Ooh. Mm. One for them, one, one for me. me. <laughs> and part of my thing was I'd be walking down to feed the ducks, yeah. walking, staring only at the bread in the bag, just yeah. like, you shall be mine in my mouth soon. <laughs> you weren't allowed to eat on the road, on the on the journey. You weren't allowed, no, because uh, there'd be no bread left for the ducks uh, by the time you got there. Fair point. Your yeah, mom knows but, you well. Yes, yeah, because I love white bread. Yeah, And it, and it was my pop's bread as well. Mm. And he always used to get the hand-cut bread. Yeah, oh, the best. Dude. Oh, can I just say to everybody, I've discovered... Warburton's mm. Tiger gluten free tiger. Bread. Oh, yeah, we had Dude, that the other day. How good is it? Yeah, it was well good. I never would have known. It's like one pound eighty for a loaf of it, and it's worth every hundred and eighty pennies. Every single one, every single one. It's delicious. What does and that it work out per slice? And here's the thing because it's gluten free. If you so when you get the gluten free, uh, big, big loaves, each two slices of that is only 35 carbs mm. on the tiger bread mm. gluten-free one from Warburton's it works out the same <laughs> so you can have two massive pieces and it's never like it's not like 30 35 carbs god damn god damn indeed it's delicious what's in it instead i don't know we uh well it'll be gluten-free what the, flour with it what are the macros because it's a protein, other than that, is, protein it, say, is it more protein so they're obviously removing things so maybe they just remove it and that's it and then because it's only it's only the gluten that causes people issues isn't it and that's yeah. a protein so they just we wean that out. Mm. Sounds fabulous. It did taste good. I would if you didn't it's tell me. It's probably got a bit more fat. Maybe and probably a bit of oil in it, but it's not anything bad. No, delicious. Warburton's sponsors. <laughs> you get so fat. Sponsored I fucking love bread. Anyone says you shouldn't be eating bread can suck a big bag of you know what. Oh, it pisses me off when anyone says you you shouldn't eat X and they name a specific food. I'm like, you can eat <laughs> anything. You can eat a stick of butter, yeah. but if you fucking do it, if every you like, day. if you do it every day, twice you, a day, you're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead soon. <laughs> but if you, if one off, you ate a stick of butter, no difference at all in your in yeah. long term. What you're gonna like, there is nothing that is bad. It's just the volume of it and the frequency of it that is basically macros. Yeah, literally. It, in a, it really yeah. annoys me when someone's Cliff just notes. like, oh, this is X Y Z thing. Like nothing. No, one meal won't make you fat. Like one meal won't make you slim. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, if you do consistently, if you, yeah, if way. you have that mindset, eat a salad and see if you're instantly shredded. Yeah, go on. I'll see, go. see if that happens. And that's the problem with most people. That's what they think happens. They yeah. eat two salads and think, "Oh, I look the same." Yeah, of course you do. You dumb dumb. Yeah, you, you carry dumb, carry dumb, it on dummy. for like two months and then see where you're at. Don't be a dumb dumb dummy. Enjoy life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get drunk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Travel on a train that has two delays and a cancellation. Don't eat anything all day. Then go eat what the hell you want at Box Park. Highly recommended. Mm-hmm. I think as well, people underestimate when you've been training for a good amount of time, how having like a really solid foundation physique wise gives you a lot more leeway. Yeah. You, you've you got some like room to, to make errors. I can jack off for three weeks. That's, that's just a statement. <laughs> well done. Well done, Lex. That is a, Thanks. that's some, some stamina. You've and, got. And carry on with your conversation. <laughs> just, just, an just, just letting everybody know. <laughs> just making an announcement. I'm off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can, I can. I'm like, still going right now. I can jack off for three weeks from training, like fucking, you know, fuck it off, and whatever. Eat shit, and I won't look as good, good. But to the normal human, I'll still look great. Mm, yeah. So somebody who doesn't train, they'll be like, you're jacked. I'm like, I look shit right now. Yeah. But in my own mind's eye, because I've, I'll have probably have, I've looked softer because I haven't trained, so I haven't stimulated that glucose absorption to the muscle, and I'll be a bit waterlogged. But within three days of training hard, ping back. Mm-hmm. And within a week, so I've really, really jacked off, like yeah. hard, like I've, I've jacked off with butter, I've jacked off with cream Baby cheese, oil. jacked off with bacon, I've jacked off with all the chocolates, I've jacked off into the Christmas biscuit tin. <laughs> I don't know why that's I had to go down that yeah, That's dark. <laughs> I've, I've done it all. Any biscuits I've here, jacked right? off properly. <laughs> I think that was the wrong terminology, jacked yeah. off. Yeah. Jacked off. 
I think it is used though. I Isn't don't it? feel it is, but I'm gonna We're just gonna, allow um, it anyway, just because it was made for a funny, funny little. You're a jack off. Yeah, that's the saying. You're a jack off. It means you're a you're a jerk. Oh, maybe it's a jerk off. Either way, man. Either way, it doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, Lex, Lex so you can do that, constantly. and you can do it for a few weeks, and you will not feel great, and you won't look as good as you look in your own mind's eye. But within a week, you can pull it back. Yeah, and again, that buffer grows the longer you've been training consistently, mm -hmm. built a good physique. Yeah. Like there's, there's if you're in your first things. year of training, and you take three days off, you're fucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll, you'll unfortunately, feel, you'll feel like a sack of spuds. Yes, yeah, yeah it'll sh you'll look shit within yeah. three days because you're only ever ever on kind of the boundary of looking good, aren't you, in that first mm -hmm. year? And so you're always teetering yeah. between soft and good, soft and good. You wake up, you're like, yes, and you get soft, and you're like, no. Mm. That actually doesn't go away. Sometimes that, that happens. Again, though, it's that's more the psychological aspect of things because... Definitely. Don't stare yourself too much in the mirror. That's a good one. Yeah, like how how like how often you look at yourself and where you're comparing yourself to and from. Like Lexi's goalpost of what he thinks is good and bad is different to my goalpost because I've probably never looked as jacked as Lex looks. But... I don't know, there's a, sh there's a picture of you with a shaved head, you're pretty jacked. Yeah, yeah, I was skinny like as shit though, I was like there. 70 odd kilos, I was like 72 kilos or some shit. But you fit into American History X real well. Yeah, I did like having that shaved head for a bit, it's very convenient. Shaved head is good in your mind's eye, but your mind reduces the negative memories you have of everything, remember? Mm. So you only remember the positives of when you just came out of the barbers with everything fresh, everything faded, oh, everything lined just up. I did it myself. Oh, what? No, yeah. I had a, a subtle... Like one to zero grade fade, yeah, from top to bottom, and then it was all lined up yeah. with the cutthroat, yeah. So when I came out and I had a tan, I looked neat. But in three days, obviously all your edges were growing out. Everything was. Up. I had to get done every three days mm. to stay looking sharp rather than refugee-ish. See, that's the, I, like all of my hairstyles I've ever had have always been on the rough side of things. I've never tried to look too sharp. I just think it wow. just doesn't suit me. Yeah. So like just buzz my hair and that was that was me <laughs> that was me yeah you just military it i think yeah i think like again though it's exactly the same no one else is going to look at you and think oh that fade's not lined up very well like no one else is going to give a fuck no but there is definitely a difference when you've got a shaved head to having everything lined and sharp mm, on, yep. the, on the edges 100%. to with three days later when it just kind of looks a bit blurred out and you just kind of look a bit rough yeah whereas when it's sharp you could put a suit on and you would look smart. Mm. But if it's not sharp, you put a suit on, you still look rough. Look like you work at a car wash. Mm, yeah. But again, also, well, that's the difference between somebody who makes a living from looking a certain way as well. You, you, you're going to be more tuned into that than I am. I wasn't at the time when I had the shade. I was a doorman. You're just a beautiful man. Doing MMA. You're just a beautiful man who cares about <laughs> being a beautiful man. I've got a passport picture of me yeah. that I wouldn't fuck with. Yeah. I, genuinely, oh, I'm like, I would not fuck with that guy. Yeah. You need to show me this. I'll find it. I'm pretty sure it's on my phone. I put it up on my stories on Monday as well. <laughs> did you uh, Did you put some questions out or the I did. question time? Right, so we're at now, we have 24 minutes left, if you remember. So we can go to an hour and 27 on the computer. <clears throat> These sense. wires that you can see on YouTube, if you're here, between our feet, they, they shall be removed as of next week because I invested in the, after doing the podcast with Zach where he brought the Zoom H8 in, which is a portable sound recording device for professional microphones and stuff. Mm -hmm. I went and bought one straight away. Mm -hmm. They are awesome. And you record straight to that. There's going to be none of these wires. We'll plug it straight into that. And we can even add sound effects. Yeah. I reckon we just we can have make like some a... ridiculous yeah, yeah, sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can, hold on, we'll just record this. And then we'll just have that and we can just I'm pretty like... sure that's just a, what are those weird little guitars? It's a sitar, isn't it? Sitar, yeah, that's what that is. How, how long should I set a timer for, just so we know? 23 um, minutes? So 20... Three minutes, yes. Do that. Right, ready, go. Cool beans. Right, Let's get on to some questions. Cool. To, to, we haven't done them for a bit, have no, we? No, we haven't. Well, we did. I think we only missed one week. Was it, it feels like it's been a while. Yeah. Because we covered a big question the other week about breakups. Yeah. And that was a... Oh, I don't know whether we did go into it. I think the week before. I, I don't know whether we, we did cover it. No, we covered breakups. No, I mean the question time. Oh, no, we didn't go into it. We were using the question from the week before. Yeah, that's right. And I mean. answering it, it took up the whole episode. Because it's a big topic, isn't it? Also, just mm. Mm. every time I turn my phone on, mm. imagine in public that pops up every damn time. I, I think it's really funny just seeing you know you, you've got your, the heart symbol that tells you your likes and follows and whatever else. It maxes out at a hundred, so every time he shows me his phone, just in the top corner, it's just like hundred, hundred, hundred. <laughs> I've never had that. I'm totally not pissed at that. I'm gonna comment banana heart. <laughs> 
Right, let's have a look. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta skip through my stories, which have doubled up again, you piece of shit. I hate Instagram. It's useless. How are the billions of people using Instagram and they can't get a basic software to work? I know. It's been doubling up my stories for over a year. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought you were just really, really keen. Suck it. Insta sucks. I liked it that oh, way. and now it's not even monitoring my stories. It's just doing that thing where it maxes out at a thousand views and then doesn't tell me anymore. So we've had at least a thousand anyway. So let's see what questions we got. That's not bad in the short time we put that mm -hmm. up. But I was like, oh, right, not on. How do you get some? There we go. Ooh, ooh. We got quite a few. Yeah, damn. Okay. What takes up too much of your time? Uh, Netflix. Because I'll have it on while I'm working and I shouldn't do, which is why I'm creating an office upstairs. Um, and so it actively takes up little snippets of time all the time mm. through when I'm working and it adds a ridiculous amount of time to what I should be doing. So if it should take me an hour, it takes two. Social. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't really affect me. It's on in the background. It yeah. totally does. I'm an idiot. For me, social media. Just, and that's like, that's mm. replying to messages. Uh, can I, I don't think that's a waste of time though. It's not a waste of time, but it definitely takes up too much of my time. I, I wish suppose, I, yeah. Too I, I, oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking of waste of time. What takes up too much of my time? Uh, editing footage. Mm. Massively. Yeah. Um, would you rather have a time machine or a teleporter? Time machine. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a teleporter. You have a time machine. Sound. Sorted. What would you, honestly though, teleporting, think what you could do. You could go anywhere. I know, but you can go anywhere now. Hang on a minute. Hang pain. on a minute. Could you though? Or would you need another teleporter to teleport to? No, nah, I think it's, it's just, just like you just bimp and go. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know, you know. But you can go anywhere now. Where can you not go? Well, if you had a time machine, you could go and affect, your own, you could go and affect your own future, Korea. couldn't you? What's so that? you could go and do whatever you wanted to affect your own future. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I think that if I could have a time machine where I can affect my own future, then I'd have a time machine. But if I can't do anything when I time travel, I just watch. I'm going teleporter. Check out the lottery numbers. Mm. How could you though? You're going backwards. It doesn't say that. Oh, you think you can go forwards and backwards? Yeah. Well, then it I'm says going, then I'm going time machine. It says time machine. It does not specify. But I thought the rules of time machine was you could only go back because you could only revisit where a time machine was. Comments. How the time machines work. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll pick one, you pick the other one, we're sorted. Yeah. Have you ever tried Atra Zero drop shoes for lifting or boxing? A T R A Zero drop shoes for lifting or boxing? No. The answer is no. Maybe we never should. Never heard of them? No, nope, never heard of I them. I can have a Luke. We shall have a look. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would you choose and why? Hmm. Dragon. Ooh. Okay, is it got to be a real, like a, a, an actual animal? Dragons are real. Dragons are real. <laughs> After today, a giraffe. But... <laughs> yeah. um, oh, and I, oh, I would say probably a lion. That's pretty cool. Yeah. If it has to be real, I quite like something like a gorilla. But I'm assuming it's not going to murder me. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be like, oh, actually, now you're saying that. Imagine having a gorilla. Just fucking... I just really want to. I want to like. Oh, hang on though, it's a pet. You got to look after it and and store it. Oh. And it's got to be. You know, it's got to have an environment that it lives in with you. This is all of a sudden has become very expensive. Yeah. Let's. See, I don't even want a I dog. Feel... And you're asking. I'm... <laughs> I feel we need to disregard any of the realistic logistics that are going to limit us <laughs> okay. here, and we're just going to go purely for what would be fun and cool and amazing to have without any of the negative kind of implications of having to move house or move country to actually <laughs> live, that, live with us and or take out another mortgage to like fund it or life. risk life and literally limb yeah so like uh, so whatever uh, you have is tame loves you and just never does what you, you want yeah so like for me definitely a big cat uh yeah dude just maybe I'm, maybe like a yeah maybe a because have you seen videos when people like play fight with big cats? Mm. They're, like they're so fucking cuddly. I love yeah. cats. I love dogs as well. But I think like a, I'd probably go with a big ass tiger yeah. or a gorilla. I was saying like I, I just think that a gorilla. I don't know whether I'd want to. I don't think I'd find it as fun to like play around and wrestle It'd be with. Superhuman. Mm. Like you'd be able to interact with it properly eventually. You'd be yes. able to talk to it. Yeah. And it would be able to just do stuff for you. You'd yeah. be like, oh, go and crack, crack me a beer. Yeah. And it just I goes, love that that's your number one thing. Oh, yeah, he just goes <laughs> and gets a beer. And literally with its thumb just goes. 
yeah. he fires the cap off because they're just fucking hard as nails. Oh, just imagine anything. I'll got, teach it to tip over the neighbors' cars. It could cars. my bathroom. Go and tip over the neighbors' cars. Yeah. They're so dexterous. Not, not, not our neighbors. They're nice. The, the town across his neighbors. Yeah. He could just <laughs> toil my bathroom for me. And he's got, like, basically, he'd be doing it with his feet and his hands. He Hang on, have you got a gorilla or have you got a, um, an ape? I'm going, like, going for, like a um, I'm going for a chimp. I think a chimp a would chimp be a good toiler. If you want tasks, chimp. A chimp would be really good for toiling. Yeah, there you go. I, I think <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, where I'd are we get at? him to train other chimps and then I'd have like an uh, an army of toiling <laughs> chimps and we would take over. It'd be like a bunch of tradesmen. Like minions but chimps. Yeah, and they'd all wear hard hats and a hoivies. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah. And then that, that'd be it. I'd monopolise the market because <laughs> welfare for chimps is, is definitely nowhere near what it is for humans. So health and safety goes out the window because they're just like, I can just climb up there and That's do the job. True. Don't yeah. need any access. Save money on jobs. I'm undercutting the I'm undercutting the competitors. <laughs> jobs, are, jobs are good. And don't even need to pay them. Just give them bananas. Sorted. Yeah. They'd be happy. And they're loyal. Be, add some peanut butter in and they'd lose their minds. Yep. There we go. And they'd probably love it. I think they like accomplishing tasks. Maybe. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say, yeah. Have you seen that um, some monkeys have reached caveman level of tool usage hmm? now? Uh, so. Evolved enough to caveman level where yeah. they're, they're using tools to um, smash open. Oh, we're back in the room. Mm. Oh, blackouts again because we are awesome. Right, where are we at? You were at tiling monkeys and... Oh, fuck what we were saying. <laughs> Peanut butter monkeys. They'd love it. Accomplishing tasks. Damn it. Oh, tools. Oh, yeah, the, tools. The... Yeah, so the, the, the monkeys have reached the level of being able to utilize tools to sm- like smash open uh, certain f- like fruits they can't get into, nuts and things like that. They're breaking them down. They're using them to grind stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Can they use a tile cutter yet? They're clearly close. Yeah. If you if you get like left eight chimps in a bathroom for long enough at this stage, they'd figure it out. They do. Yeah, I've got faith. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> what? Okay, this is from uh, Hawthorne Ryan, which sounds English, and you've put what is your fav what is your favourite pair of boots, and Mister Ryan, it's what are past tense your favourite boots? Just unless you're foreign, in which case. You speak better English than I do any other language, so fair play to you. Mm. But if you're English, Brian, is is incorrect. You should have used what are past tense favorite boots. I think this one definitely for you because no one gives a fuck what. Uh, I I have I, these ones I got on right now are Doc Martens. I have a lot of Doc Martens and then uh, Logger boots, mm-hmm. Logger boots and Doc Martens. They are very cool. These I cool. did. I literally asked Lex about those before we started, and yeah. they were like female Doc Martens. Mm-hmm. They go up to a size nine. So you can get them, yeah. Always check the female section of Doc Martens because they go up to size nine if you've got size nine yeah. uh, feetsies. Size 11, so no. Yeah, you're not, no getting, Doc you're not getting any of the cool stuff. Nope. You're in the boring men's things. You mm. can have brown or black. Mm-hmm. Um, one with just all hearts. We appreciate that. Thanks very much. <laughs> if you could have any... I know we've done that one. Um, what height high jump do you think you could make doing it properly? Not a, f- a bazinga. Not a clue. The Frosby flop or whatever it's called. Is that the one where you... The, where you like, I think we're just doing a flop. Down. We're definitely not polling it, are we? Yeah, if it was a high jump. Um, I did this at school and I can't remember what I got. It was probably like one. What's a metre? That's less. That's more than a metre, that is. That's about a metre. So probably like there. One and a half metres. Mm, yeah, I'd say... Probably I'd, more. You might do more than me. I don't think I would. I've got quite a good jump. Mm. My vertical's decent, but I don't think I, I've got a very poor build for that. Let's say one point eight meters, what? and then and then somebody come back and go, "You can't do that. You can't do that, mate." Is that not, is that not just there? You're not you're not one point eight meters tall. What's one point eight meters tall? So you're you five nine? I'm six foot seven. Six seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that's one hundred seventy five centimeters. Ah. Oh right. Okay. I that think. puts perspective on. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm bang on 175 centimeters. We're Let's both of us just run and headbutt the high jump thing. So we should run at it and headbutt it and get zero. I'd, I'd, I'd say like 1.4 meters. Do you reckon? Like but I thought you said that was a meter. If that's a meter, less, just slightly less than that is a meter. Right. So 1.8 is there. No, we can jump that. No. 
That is not what. That is not correct. Yeah, yeah. that's probably closer. Oh yeah, we're not doing that. That's probably still not one point eight meters. Hold on. Me. Yeah. What are you? Both there. Oh yeah, we're not doing that. How, what, well, what are you in centimeters? Well, you stand up. I'm 175. 175. Stand up again. I'm judging whether I could jump over you. you I reckon I could jump over your just above your nipples. So let's minus, let's take off my 35 centimeters from whatever you are. So 140 centimeters. Yeah, I fucking said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what was the last gift you gave someone in your family? I don't remember. Um, yesterday I got Emma like some stuff. She had a shitty day at work, and I got a like. It was just a. It was like a little box of stuff. It had some like chocolates and sweets and uh, like a National Geographic magazine and a New Scientist magazine because she's smart, so she doesn't read like. She just went cosmopolitan. All, all, all the all the bargain bins in W H Smiths. Yeah, they're expensive. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're like seven pound for a magazine. Those what? Are, yeah, I know. That's a whole book. Magazines are expensive now. Um, Who the fuck else? is buying magazines other than you? I bought this little. Um, it was like a flower pot with a little succulent flower, but it was a cat, like a little kitten, and the top of its head was a. Was where the plant was. It was quite cool. Quite, quite cool. She likes cat stuff, so yeah. So and the, she yeah. had a plant brain. Yeah, basically a plant, 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 plant brain. brain. Cat. Yeah. So that was yesterday. A cat brain pot. Uh, family. No, that's not family though. Emery's my family. She's my as good as my wife. No, I think it has to be blood family. Okay then. Um, hmm. What did I like? It would have been... Oh, I got my mum some trainers. It would have been my nan. I got my mum some high-top trainers and some tennis court shoes. I got my nan a load of stuff for, a, for the Zoe. garden earlier in the, like, there you go. Earlier in the year. Yeah, Plus so one. that's how awesome we are. Um, top three travel tips. Go with us. <laughs> <laughs> top three travel tips. Take sandwiches on the plane. I would definitely tell it's Always point. a win. An inflatable pillow. And no... Get a proper, pay 30 quid and get the proper neck thing. Oh, yeah, the actual like beaded cushion. I've got thing. a proper, proper one that was about 30 quid and it is worth it. Mm. You can literally sit upright, yank yourself into it and just go to sleep and it doesn't crunk your neck, nothing. And it's super comfy and doesn't make your ears do that weird thing because <laughs> it's all ergonomic and structured. Fits your head. Yeah. Uh, third tip um, get a card like Revolut or Monero or something like that that you can use abroad so you're not using actual um, transfer uh, actual exchange money ever and you get the best exchange rates hmm. literally you get bank for bank rates oh really yeah it's That's really good. really good and you can just beep it like it's your normal card at home no charges nothing good to you know just, you just drop money across from your bank instantly into whatever uh, denom denomination you want so, yeah there you go cool uh, what do you consider the worst quality in humanity uh, greed. Jealousy. Mm, similar lines, isn't it? Mm. Uh, what's the biggest first world problem you've ever had? We had one the other week. What was it? When we sat there, we went, first world problems, this. Uh, I think mine was that I couldn't fit all the cardboard recycling I had into the allocated blue bin. Mm. <laughs> blue, <laughs> I'd like to say it's a bag, blue bag, bin bag. Yeah. Stupid thing. Okay. How are you supposed to fit boxes into a bag, by the way? Oh, no. And yet we have huge wheelie things for just general waste. I oh, know. I feel like we should be having, if they really gave a shit about this whole recycling thing, we should be having enough bins for everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. Like, we just fire it all in together. Yeah. Um, first world problems. God, I've got too many of them. <laughs> What's your, your biggest first world problem you've ever had? Ever had? Ever had. Oh, I thought that was just last one. Ever had? That's too big a question. I don't know. Um, oh, internet. I yeah. can't get internet. Yeah. That's 100%. Or it's first. just like the upload speed's too yeah, slow. it's too slow. Internet. You've got the it's internet, like but it's download. not good enough. Yeah, like when sometimes when download and upload's disproportionately fucked, and then yeah. you're trying to like upload a, vi like yeah, just just upload a video or something, <laughs> you're like, what? I'm going to have to wait for like 10 minutes. Because we're in like a world where like everything's instant. I couldn't get reception in the cafe in London the other day enough to play YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, how am I in London and not got 5G? And actually had a bit of a tantrum about it. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, so that. Internet or um, reception for your phone. What is an absolute must in your kitchen can be both tool or food? 
A good quality garlic press. I think if fucking <sighs> if you've got a shitty garlic press, your life garlic sucks. Press. Your life sucks. I have the pre-done garlic stuff mm. in the jar. No. 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 Or I just chop the garlic myself. Yeah, I do chop, but once every three years. Mm. Never do it. I never chop garlic. I think a good quality garlic press is uh, is essential. You like most garlic presses just end up because you have to give it some fucking grief. <laughs> they just end up exploding at some point. So yeah, a nice fucking solid one that's like cast out of aluminium and it's like solid. That'd be that's a that's a good go to. And then in terms of uh, food, actual food, 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 I'm just gonna go for something like I'm literally gonna. Bread. I was gonna say paprika. That's a just, spice. Yeah, like I food. know. Yeah, but I feel like that's something that you can literally add to everything and it makes everything better. I, I Also salt. I've gone off paprika though. I use it too much, I think. Uh, do you eat it? Just like I used to put it in my eggs and that all the time. And now mm. I put it in the other day and I was like, mm. I love a bit of pap. I buy yeah. pap in the uh, the chef's, like the big, because <laughs> you know those little little glass ones you get, they just don't fucking last long enough. No. Yeah, so I'll get the big chef containers. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Mine would be a good set of knives. Good set of knives is also very good. Yeah. If I don't have that, I don't. I hate fucking cooking. Yeah, proper knives and a whetstone to actually sharpen your knives. Properly. I still haven't got a whetstone. They're still sharp though. If, if you got some, be. if you got some good quality ones, they, they, they stay yeah, sharp they, for a while. But they're proper, aren't they? The I haven't. Before. They I, cut you to the bone, sharp man. Yeah, I, I think I sharpened mine maybe like two months ago. But I think with the ones I've got, you could do the old yakuza, patriotic <laughs> finger off. Yeah, I think that sharp, especially that cleaver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and food-wise, yeah, bread. Love bread. Bread and butter. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And what are your favourite cartoons from when you were y- you were younger and now? Uh, Pinky and the Brain. Oh, good call. Dexter's Lab. Ed, Ed and Eddie. I didn't like Ed, Ed, Ed. Um, I didn't like Ed, Ed and Eddie. SpongeBob SquarePants. Mm, SpongeBob. Um, so, those are probably some of the big ones from when I was a kid. Transformers. Mm. He-Man. I did like He-Man, but He-Man was before my time, so I was watching it like... they just redone He-Man. Yes. It's fucking it was, awesome. It was, yeah, the, the new Netflix uh, He-Man was class. Back in Mass from Mars. Again, that, that was a bit before me. I, I've heard of it, but I never watched it. Um, SpongeBob is definitely up there. I wasn't a fan of Ed, Ed and Eddie. I just didn't get on with it. Ren and Stimpy. Loved Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was good at all, yeah. Um, oh, uh, DuckTales. Woo! Mm, yeah, DuckTales was good. Tailspin and DuckTales. What about, the same time. what about now then? Favourite cartoons now, Archer. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I've, not, I've still love not watched it. a single episode. Fuck me, dude. You will love... I'm so jealous. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. So, I would have to go probably Rick and Morty just as a go-to. Oh, fuck yeah, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty's 100%. up there. Really, really enjoyed uh, Solar Opposites as yeah, well, which is no, done fun. by the same people who did Rick and I Morty. I binged that. Um, and... Fun. This is a bit of a controversial one because I don't think it's massively loved, but uh, Disenchantment, which mm. is the same people who did The Simpsons and Futurama. It's good. Um, I watched it. Yeah, I really, kept me really enjoyed that. all the way through. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Very good calls. Very good. I agree with them all. Um, ba-da, 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 bam. Thanks for my protein code. I chose Power Ranger Protein. What colour ranger would you be? Also, my protein code, it might have finished by the time you hear this, but you could try it. My code on my protein is always going to be Lex Fitness. It should give you a big smash of discount off whatever's going on. It'll be like the max discount you can get from whatever's going on. And at the currently, it, if is it's it still, still going, going on, right now? yeah, Impact is still going on. If it's still going on when you hear this, it's up to 47% off everything. Yeah. Right, I need to make right an now. order tonight. Use Lex Fitness, 47% off on my protein. Oh, and if you're in America, 55% off. Bro. I don't know why. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. You goddamn yanks. God damn. I need to mention that tomorrow. Um, what color Power Ranger would you be? I think I wanted to be, I think it was red. I wanted to be the Black Power Ranger. But I he thought, was black, black. Yeah, I know, but he was black. I, I didn't want to be the Black Power Ranger because he was black. I just thought the, the black. As I in, don't know if you can be the Black Power Ranger if you're not black. Well, I'm brown. Can I be a brown Power Ranger? Would you really want to be a brown Power Ranger? You'd be the poopy Brown Ranger. <laughs> I, thought, I just thought, like, not. I'm not even taking con because, like, the red, red yellow, the red white power, poop. The red Power Ranger <laughs> wasn't a red person. He wasn't. He, he, That's what I mean. That's why I think the black one. He has to be black. Hang on. Was the yellow Power Ranger Chinese? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, that. that's a bit naughty, isn't it? With the red power ranger, oh, Native American. Like, probably really raw then. In naughty, isn't it? Native fact, American. Went a bit Russell Brand then. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. But Brand? No. Yes. 
Yes. Brand. I'll just be fucking red because BCB is red. I like red as no, a okay. colour. Be red or black. That's the cool ones. No one wants to be white or yellow. Yeah. Uh, would you guys think of Ma- what? What you guys think of Matrix trailer? Is there a new one out? Have you not seen it? No. It's good. I've been too busy watching the Top Gun no. 2 trailer. I'll watch it after this. Okay, so it is, it's it's very good. It does not reveal a lot of stuff and it does not, it's not linear oh, like that. From, the, from the others. So you don't really know what's going on. I've watched a few breakdown trailers that try to explain it um, or what they think might may potentially be going on. Um, oh, knowing, the ones. Yeah, and mm. like knowing, like trusting the Wachowski sisters now. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, they're... They've had a lot of time. They're very, very intelligent with how they plan things out. Um, so I think that it's going to really, I really fucking hope anyway, it's going to blow our minds in a completely different way in terms of opening our our ideas of what a film can be. Mm. But the same as how the first Matrix did that. You know how that was like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. I think they're going to do that again. But there's going to be, it's it's not just a linear story. Because the first Matrix really like it's drew a line. Like parallels, are you? Yeah, because in it, Neo or so Thomas, about Thomas, time, time travel Thomas Anderson, talking. he's not he, that like w- the Matrix didn't happen in this. He's just there. He's older. He, Keanu Reeves is older. Keanu Reeves as a normal so guy. It's got Reeves in it. Yeah, it's carrying on. I mean, but none of the things that had happened are in this world. But mm. they, they might be in a different version of it. So, and there's parallels. So there's somebody. There's like a version of Amorpheus, but it's not Morpheus. There's a version of the Oracle. Trinity. Is she in it. Yep. That's the time. Yeah, so oh. it's 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 like a variation of it, um, and obviously they're gonna somehow coincide, and yeah, it looks very interesting. I'm gonna watch it straight after this. Yeah, um, we need another styled video like the Viking one at BCB. Any plans for one? Oh, it's talking oh, about yeah. the one I did for that um, was sick for Valhalla. Valhalla yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. I just did one for my protein. Really, mm-hmm. that's cool. Um, no, that was such a random thing. Literally, Ubisoft hired me for that. So. Mm-hmm. That was a cool thing to just do. There just will be do something random. Well, there's going to be some some cool stuff coming through with with my protein. Um, Surely you could get sponsored by one of those fucking beard grooming things. Mm, and yeah, I've had like loads of offers. I just biking. don't. There's honestly only so many days in a month that I can be doing stuff. Mm. So, you know, and there's it's prioritizing. Yeah, of course. Really, like how many people? What can I really do? That's cool. If you're going to do it, you go with the beard struggle, don't you? They're mm. the big boys of that yeah. that that world. Yeah. They did approach me and I did respond, but then it kind of fell. Oh, we just didn't because COVID happened. I might chase that up. Uh, so no, there's no plans for anything at the moment. I did have a plan to go and do a Batman, a a Batman devoted street fight special where I would actually end up doing an, a a choreographed fight scene in an underground railway station. But that, COVID, lot, really that's out in Portugal though. That so a lot of the no. Nolan Batman was Krav Maga, wasn't it? That was what I was going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a that was a fight system developed by these guys who I was in contact with. Uh-huh. Yeah, they trained. Um, Bale. Yeah, it was Bale, wasn't it? So they trained Bale in how in their style, and that's mm. why he has that unique movement mm. system. Yeah, we it's actually a, a legit thing. <laughs> how good it is, I don't know, but it's actually a system that you can learn. So, yeah, I'll try and push that. So, that'll be my biggest thing. Uh, which two celebrities would you like to enter a celebrity death match style fight? As in, they've got to fight each other? To the or death. we've yeah. got to fight them? Celebrity death match, you know, from MTV. Yeah. Trump? Really? Yeah. That's going to be so shit to watch. Trump's a big guy, though. He's a fat lard about 70 years old. Yeah, I'll put him against another lard. Well, no, you'd have to put Trump against somebody like. Um, Grog, what's he called? The the, the American footballer. Is he called know. Grog? I don't know. He's a big beast. He's he's on all he's on all the celeb things. He's done kind of the, some of the like rap challenge shows and all that stuff. Fuck knows. He's a beast. Grog, Grog, Grog. Damn it! Stupid brain. Oh, two. There we go. <laughs> They're two old guys. <laughs> very different builds though, and I think this would just be entertaining because one's Mexican. So Danny Trejo versus Trump. Celebrity death match. <laughs> Trump's, Trump's okay. trying to build the wall and Machete's trying to stop him. You're doing that. I'm going to do... Can we take them back like 20 years as well? Just so they've no, got like no, a no. Little... You made your choice. Oh, all right. Zimmer frames allowed. Yeah, Zimmer. <laughs> I'm going to go celebrity-wise. Right. I am going to put in um, the guy from Ongback. Okay. 
what's he called? I don't know what his name is. You know I who I mean, though, don't I know you? Who you the mean. Thai guy who's just insane. Yeah. Him versus, and the calling celebrities a bit, but the guy who's in. Um, you can say the raid. No. Uh, shit. What's the thing called? It's a series. It starts off, he's in a jail and he's fighting in that and he's all tattooed up and he's jacked. I know what you mean. Ah, uh, fuck, what's it called? White guy, black hair. Yes, yes. Like goatee, goatee in it. Tattoo um, on him. Best he ever looked in his life was in that one movie. Yeah, I don't remember what they're called though. <clears throat> God damn it, what's it called? I'm going to have to look it up. Because um, he's in a... Hang on, I'll tell you now who it is. Netflix... Oh no, I can't remember the name of that film. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Legacy of Lies. Legacy oh. of Lies. Netflix. Uh, da, 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 da. And the only reason I'm doing this is because they can both like fight, fight. Yes, actual legit. So I think it would be fun to watch. I uh, think that guy's got it though because he's so much bigger than the guy from Hong Bak. Yeah, but Hong Bak has some nasty knees and stuff. And this guy might not be actually. That's where we'd find out, wouldn't we? Yeah. If he was any good. Yeah. What? No, it's uh, definitely Scott Atkins. Right, yeah. Scott Atkins versus Ong Bak Guy, who I can't be bothered to research. Yeah. Cool. Have we got many more? No, uh, we'll skip to the ends. Top five. No, we're not doing that. Because um, we won't be able to think of them quickly. Want to join an MMA gym but nervous? Any tips to overcome this? Yep, just go. MMA gyms are awesome. They're all about community feel. Nobody gets bullied. Nothing like that happens. You just learn techniques and everybody's really understanding if you're going to a class, which is an open class for anybody to join, people understand that it's an open class where people will have zero skill and others will have high level skills because they're fighters yeah. and they're mixed classes and they're just awesome. Just go in there, do your best. Don't apologize too much. Just keep trying your hardest and then just ask for tips and you'll love it. And yeah. if you get any better and somebody in that gym who's a good fighter has taught you to get a little bit better, trust me, he'll love the fact that that's helped yeah. you. Yeah. But but fucking commit if you go. Because they're giving their time to you. Mm-hmm. Anything else that's all? No, that's it. It's, it's, a, it's not super helpful by saying just go, but that is literally it. Just like, pluck up the courage. You're going to feel nervous, but get in there. And honestly, after you finish that first session, you're going to feel great. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to pick the last one, but it's kind of a, a roll up because one is just a statement. Is Lewis getting any closer to getting his bike on the road? See? People I am in the sense the that the bathroom is slowly <laughs> getting done. And then fight one Marvel character. Who do you pick? And that's what we're going to end on. We'll fight one Marvel character. They're all fucking you up. Mm-hmm. So I'm, who's fucking you up the least? Um, I'm going with Spidey because he's going to let me off the hook. I'm going with Black Widow because I'll probably She's like it. She's murdering you. I'm probably going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that is it I'm alive maybe met buddies with Spidey now you're dead with a smile on your face yep, I, I died uh, and I needed a change of four leg after. locked around the head yeah, yep. he died happy <laughs> <laughs> and that is it we've done it we've made it through another without a blackout because we're awesome which well, is why we got invited to limited edition gigs exactly that, that's <laughs> literally it that was our reward yeah that's it we, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the screwcast again Thank you all for joining, joining in, tuning in. Listening? Join, yeah. Listening with your ear You're holes. part of it. I like yeah. the fact that people think they're just in a room listening to lads have a chat. Mm. That's what I like about it. No, it is good. Everyone's vibe. So, uh, we are on Friday. You'll be hearing us on Monday. Um, if it is still going on the Impact Week on my protein, just hit Lex Fitness in the discount code. It's going to give you something regardless, and it's going to give you the upper end of whatever discounts you can get at the time. Yeah. So, you're always safe to use it. So, please do. And it literally directly supports me as well when you do it. So, that's awesome. In America, apparently, you get more money off because you're bigger and you scare more people <laughs> so you get more but Lex Fitness is um, well, now worldwide you can use that in America or Europe or England wherever you are um, other than that is that sad? no no so just <laughs> remember as always take forward the good that you've had from the week before and run through with it if anything bad happened last week let it go doesn't matter that's the wonder of time you can leave shit in the past and that's where it should stay Make Unless your own you've energy. got a time machine. Unless you've got a time machine. <laughs> Unless you've got a time machine and turbo it's like me and Lou will have if we're ever given the opportunity because sharing is caring. <laughs> have an amazing week, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Toodle pip.